YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another video, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Gal. And today, we're out with the Team Corrale Kagama with the um, 8BX, the 8BL 150 amp hobby wing setup, 22, uh, 2000 kV motor. We're running on 6S. We're out at the, at the baseball field. Got the ramp set up. We're going to let this thing rip. See how good it is, man. A lot of people have been telling me about this car. My brother Jay Mitch, a few other people saying, get the Kagama, get the Kagama. Um, but I have some thoughts about it already because I ran it yesterday. But uh, let's get in the video. Hold tight. All right, let's get it. One thing I can notice off the rip with this 8BL system, it doesn't like going slow. It kind of cogs like crazy when you try to go slow with it. Look at that. Like it's going crazy, but when it picks up, it picks up. Woo, still running stock punch. This thing is pulling. I do think though with this car, they should have made it a little bit longer. Made the wheelbase a little bit longer. This little front wheel is ballooning like crazy. This car is hard to get the full throttle. It just goes up in the air. But that 8BL system is pretty good for what you pay for it. You can't really, I can't really complain. This thing is set up almost exactly like my Creighton as far as the servo and what remote I use, receiver I use. So it's very comparable to my Creighton. But what I'm learning is when it comes to racing, it's not as good as my Creighton 6S. Uh, but it is a good car though. It is a good car. It is a good car. We'll talk about that on another video. All right. She ripping though. Let's hit some jumps. First jumps with it. Everybody says it's super duper durable. So let's see. Good God almighty. <laughs> Whoa, I barely hit the throttle. That, that 8BL system does have some power. And that's on the stock punch. That's a stock punch level five. <laughs> Whatever it comes stock. Good God almighty, y'all. That thing has some crazy power. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of the durability testing. I, I do think I'm slightly over geared though. I think I got like a 17 tooth in here. Really don't need that much. I think I'm gonna drop it down to a 15 tooth. And when I drop down to that 15 tooth, that, that ESC will probably run a little bit better. That motor will probably run a little bit better. What was that? Definitely a durability test right there. See, that, and that's where the, 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 the ESC and motor kind of comes into play because the power, the power doesn't kick in uh, immediately it kind of hesitates and that's why it kind of has those crazy backflips when you hit it when you hit the throttle kind of hard it, it backflips like two or three times without even trying like that but that's crazy to be able to hit a double <laughs> on a six foot jump <laughs> a six or seven foot jump and you can hit a double that's crazy the body's taking a, ba a beating Already. But she's already taking a couple of hard hits. I'll tell you that much. Um, all right, let's try to get some speed. I should have put it over there and got some big speed and got a big old jump, but nah, we don't want to tear it up on the first run. Those wheels, those wheels on here too, they, those wheels are going through some trials and tribulations. I'm gonna have to go with the four, uh, six S backflips. Cause it looked like one of them was about to come unglued already and I haven't even got the full throttle. But I will say though, I will say this car is a beast. This car is a nice car. Like I said, it doesn't drive as quite as nice as my Creighton does, but it definitely does drive nice. Ooh wee. Trying to see if I can get it to full throttle. <laughs> I 
Very fun car, man. Very fun car. Tire change, this thing gonna be a beast. When I put those six S uh back flips on there, this thing is gonna be a monster in law. Saw that cogging. That's what I'll be talking about at low speeds. Oh, look like we might have overheated the system, y'all. With that big old 17 2 pinion on 6S. That's what it seems like. Uh, not a real hot day out here today. So I thought it would have been fine. Uh, not a real, real hot day. Oh, yes, he is smoking. I don't, I think I got my, yeah, I got my temp gun. I do have my temp gun. It's gonna take me a second, so it might cool off some. But let me grab my temp gun. And I'll be right back with y'all. Hold tight. All right, let's check it. See what we're working with. See what we're working with, baby. Yeah, it shouldn't have overheated though. We're only at 148. So maybe it might be my batteries. We're gonna blame it on my batteries. That battery is an older battery. Um, is the ESC hot? Yeah, the ESC is barely doing anything. Let's see what we had on the ESC. We have 105, 107 motor. It only took me a couple of seconds to get to the car. So, yeah, I'm gonna blame that on the batteries, man. That battery is old. It's a good battery, but it's old, but the battery is not even hot at all. Did it come back to life? Yeah, it came back to life too. And I left it on, left it running. Um, I have a, the pinion I got on there is just way too big. I just didn't have anything smaller. So I got a 17 tooth. So I'm gonna go down to a 15 tooth or 14 tooth and go from there. But the first run was successful. We had some pretty bad landings and everything seemed to held up pretty good. I did race this car on yesterday and it did pretty good. Um, it was a little tough. It was a little challenging at first. But once I found my swag with it, it did pretty good. It got a few wins, um, but there it is, man. Team Corral I know it was a short run, fellas, but I got to get ready to get out of here anyway and go pick up my kids. But I appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you like. YouTube. And I'm in it.